How's the writing going? Well, I thought by coming to my usual spot it would give me some inspiration. Well, I found something that might take your mind off things. On my way here, I found this self-addressed letter. Let me see what this is. Is this some kind of a joke? I found myself lacking love for you and giving my love to another. Who said that? Let me see that. Dear Marty, I know it's been a long time since I left, and I know I should have said something sooner, but I wasn't brave enough. During the last few years of our marriage, I found myself lacking love for you and giving my love to another. It shatters my heart to write with such honesty, but you deserve the truth. I hope you are well and this letter finds you peace. I guess the best way to help you understand is to quote a line from your favorite poem. People will always be like leaves and go with the wind. With love, Marie. This is just heart-wrenching. Well, there's nothing we can do about it. Well, do you know of any other Marty Shatternicks? No, I'm not familiar with any other Marty Shatternicks. Well, maybe we could find some other Martys in the area. We can't just throw this away. Besides, this would be a good break for you. You deserve a break from your writer's block. Come on. All right, let's go find this Marty. So this Marty Shatternick is the owner of this boxing gym. Hopefully he's here. This is making me nauseous. How does someone bring a letter like this to another person? If you're uncomfortable, I can do all the talking. Besides, story has to start somewhere. and we think it might belong to you. Did your wife, by chance, recently leave you? What did you say? What did you say? We found this letter. I see it. My wife and I have a great marriage. She would never have written me this. Sorry to bother you. So this is the only other Marty Shatternick that we found in the area and his profile says that he works here. Let's go find him. Hello? Does anyone by the name of Marty Shatternick work here? Yeah, I'm Marty. Um, we don't open for another hour, but what can I do for you? Well, actually, we think we might have something for you. We found this on the side of the road and it might be from your ex-wife. I think you might have the wrong Marty. I've never been married. Oh, thanks for your time. Sorry to bother you. Oh, no worries. Um, before you leave, can I get you something? Actually, do you know of any other Marty Shatternicks in the area? I'm sorry I don't. I just moved here. All right, thank you for your time. Have a good day. You too. Have a good one. Too bad we couldn't find that guy. Look, honey, we've done everything we could. We've went down every avenue. It's time to move on. Well, 
before you go back to your writer's block, could you at least buy me some flowers? Flowers, please. Sir? Flowers, please. That'd be $15. Thank you. Pick your flowers. I certainly will. Here you go. <laughs> How well you know me. I love these. You have great taste. My wife loves flowers. Well, my ex-wife. Oh, I'm so sorry. No, it's okay. It's all right. I learned something about myself. It took a bit of time, but I think I found my true happiness. I guess people will always be leaves going with the wind. Anyway, I'm Marty Shatternick of Shatternick's Flowers. Nice to meet you, Marty. My shop will be opening up in a few weeks, but I'm putting base camp here until then, so. Nice meeting you, sir. Have a nice night. You know what? I now know what my next day is.